Hey there everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed. Oh my gosh, have I got an amazing Dollar Tree shop with me and haul for you guys. The store is packed to the brim with Christmas and unbelievable new finds, name brands, new toys and other great stocking stuffers, many of them perfect for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, of which I'm already collecting for for next year. of this crossbow it's a dollar 25 because new Barbie clothes well can this is definitely can looks like a striped tank shirt pair of shorts and some tennis shoes and quite honestly this one looks like can too might be Barbie but I comes with shorts and a jeans jacket. It looks like Ken. Oh my gosh. Left, right, center. That is such a fun game. And Yacht, um, they've had this in the past, but it used to come in a tube. It's not Yahtzee, but uh, Yahtzee was developed from Yacht. Yacht is an old game. Another full-sized game. This one's called Cartel. But I think they have new puzzles on the go. 24-piece puzzles. We have Ninja Turtles. Paw Patrol. There's almost always a Paw Patrol, but that's a new picture. It's a. These are nice and colorful. Disney Princesses. Gabby's Dollhouse. It's Spidey. Puzzle tins are also great. Again, for stocking stuffers or OCC shoe boxes. We have some new ones here. That Spidey looks new. Nemo looks, oh no, that's uh, Pixar. So it has an assortment of different shows and characters. And this one's a 50-piece puzzle. Or are these all? No, that one's 24. So some are 24 and some are 50. That's a really nice Disney one. And there's Alice's Wonderland Bakery. More new puzzles. Another Ninja Turtle. I like this one because they're not wielding their swords. It's a new Cinderella, 24-piece. And a new Ariel. What is this? A pet spa. Oh my gosh. Is that cute? That's really cute. Look at the kitty in there. What else do we have? Puppy dog. These are cute. Here are those uh, soft body baby dolls. I was seeing these on Facebook. These are cute. They're nice. Come in. Pink and blue. This fun packs looks new. Design and sticker comes with 12 activity sheets, four markers, a sticker sheet, and two paper dolls. That's Barbie. We have Disney Princesses, Spidey, Gabby's Dollhouse, Minnie Mouse, and Jurassic World. Great stocking stuffers and I think would be great for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes as well. These shrink and play look new. To shrink it, you probably need heat, like the, an oven. But it comes with six shrink art characters and a play scene. There's Paw Patrol, Stitch, Disney Princesses, and Trolls. These are new too. A Super Stamp activity set. It contains a 20 sheet activity pad, 
three stampers, one ink pad, and three markers. There is Spidey and Amazing Friends. We have Gabby's Dollhouse, Minnie Mouse, Disney Princesses. They brought back the Barbie dress up, kind of like paper dolls, little fashion designer activity set, and added Rainbow High. This one is new. There are some new surprise activity packs. I guess you get one of these four. Disney Princess comes with markers, sticker sheet, mini coloring and activity book, and the surprise character. There's also Ninja Turtles. See what the characters look like on a stand. Also, Coca Melon, Paw Patrol, and Transformers Rise of the Beast. These are new pop art coloring books. There's four covers. Some new coloring books, Born to be Wild, A Whole Llama Fun, these are cute, and Magical Magnificent Unicorn. Stuffy, so like Squishmallows. So they're pretty decent quality. Panda. Triceratops. And a unicorn. These are cute. This looks like a, this is a saw, a toy saw. It takes batteries. And I think when it presses down on this, it lights up and makes noise. And then we have a drill. I can't do this with one hand, but you turn it. And when it presses down on this, it lights up and makes sounds. new too. A toy sewing machine. And a hair dryer. Cute. They have some new color forms out. Little Mermaid. Spider-Man. Avengers. And Lightyear. I also see LOL here, but sure if that's new or not. Oh, and they've restocked their activity tins. Some of them are magnetic paper dolls, and some of them are sticker and color activity. That Spidey looks new. This is a repeat of Barbie. We have Jurassic World. Rainbow High is new. Minnie Mouse, sticker and coloring activity. Then we have some new dough and mold sets. Superman and Flash, Green Lantern, and Batman. For those of you who think my Dollar Trees are always clean and neat, <laughs> they're not. I just don't usually show you this, this much of a mess. Oh, look, they've gotten in some new 
uh, blank books the, where you get four in a pack. They have new covers. So that's cute. Here's another one. Oh, that one's really cute. Checkerboard. Kind of wavy checkerboard. And then there's a fourth one. Dream big. So you get four of these in a package and each booklet is 16 pages of blank paper for doodling. Some new sticker books that look like they'd be great for boys. Those are cool, puffy stickers. And then they have, you know, the glitter, foil, and printed. These are outer space. Those are pretty cool too. These are cute. Hair barrette and lip balm sets. Those would be great for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes or stocking stuffers. Very cute. Lots of new bath goodies for stocking stuffers for the kids. Bath bombs in the character packaging. We have bath bomb crumbles, bath bomb dust, lizard dust, color twist bath bombs, and then we have uh, color bath drops. A new hand wash by Everyman Jack. This one is citrus. And this one is sea salt. They both smell great. A little bit manly. This one, sea salt more manly than this. Uh, but both have um, sort of a manly scent to them. Wow, these are pretty. Decorative glass knobs. Three different styles. They've restocked the ball pumps. I've seen them now in two different stores today. Oh my gosh, you guys. I went to Dollar Tree to uh, grab some large gift bags, Christmas gift bags. And then the following day, I went to get some greeting cards because I didn't realize I needed them the day before. And when I got home, I realized I, sh I should have looked for those too. And I went to two different stores. I have never seen Dollar Tree so stocked, particularly with toys and other uh, really cool items for stocking stuffers and Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. First, I want to show you this. I showed it to you in the shop with me, but I wanted to show it to you again because I couldn't believe it. This looks like something that would have been in their plus section. This is a crossbow and it's pretty big and it comes with six nerf type darts i thought it was pretty cool so i got one of those these i picked up actually maybe about 10 days ago these new friends forever doll clothes and i got a fourth one but i've got it on the chelsea doll and i'll show it to you in a minute so these fit the dollar trees friends forever dolls and they fit Chelsea dolls, the Barbie Chelsea dolls, 
perfectly. This one happens to be my favorite outfit, the one with the plaid shirt and faux ripped jeans, a little top. This is actually one piece. So this is still a two piece outfit. And they come with shoes that fit Chelsea perfectly. They've even got the slit in the back like the Barbies shoes do so they can slip over their heel and still fit snug on their feet. So I really like that. Honestly, I think the quality on these is even better than the dresses that they had out this past summer. And these come with accessories. Each one of these comes with a pair of shoes or boots, a purse or a backpack, a hairbrush or a necklace. And I also did pick up one of the new Barbie, actually Ken, doll clothing that I showed you in the shop with me. I picked this one up because I thought it would look great on a Barbie if it would fit her. And this is a full figured Barbie and this outfit does fit her and I think I'm keeping this closed because she, she doesn't have a top on under this jacket. <laughs> Not that it really matters since it's a doll but um, the, the shorts do fit her. They, they fit a little bit snugly, um, but they fit her. So I think it, I haven't tried it on a regular size Barbie, so I think these could probably also fit a regular size Barbie. But for those of you like me who are always looking for clothes to fit the full figured Barbies, this does. She just needs a t-shirt to go on underneath or this can be worn over like a little dress a sundress or or something like that so this came with just the shorts the jacket and a watch a wrist watch which she's got on it did not come with shoes these shoes on her are the ones that came on Barbie so I picked up one of those and it comes in you know the regular Barbie brand packaging and then I found the coolest trucks the coolest new transformer trucks and I love these because I think they're great for the two to four year old age range for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes these I think are, are good for the little ones because all you have to do is press a button and it changes into a robot. See the little head there? And then you just push it back up to make it a truck again. So yeah, it's just real easy to do. They had three different construction trucks. This one, they had a cement mixer, which I really liked too, but I, I opted for the dump truck because it actually dumps in addition to opening up into a robot. Whoa, let's see how fast that goes. And then they had three different fire rescue trucks. This is the one I chose and it opens up as well. I love these. I think they're fantastic quality. It's a heavy plastic. It's not that real bendy plastic. I think it's a, a great quality truck for a dollar twenty-five. I couldn't get over it. Then I picked up some Hot Wheels monster trucks. They had gotten in a new shipment of Hot Wheels monster trucks. Several of them were repeats, like for instance the shark monster truck and there were some other ones. This one I think is a repeat, I'm not positive, but these two were new. I've not seen these before and I loved this one with the two different color wheels and look at that paint job, isn't that the coolest? And this one I thought was really cool too, I really liked these. Then I also picked up this cool looking Hot Wheels car, I just thought it was really cool and I thought the look of it would go well in one of my shoe boxes. It's called Cloak and Dagger. Not that I have any daggers in any of my shoe boxes. Then 
yesterday I found these games. Now, I, I think I did show these to you in the shop with me. I love this game. Our family plays this during, well, family gatherings usually during the holidays because someone in my daughter-in-law's family has this game and usually brings it. Now this one comes with chips to play the game, but we play the game with money. <laughs> just dollars you just come with two dollar bills and you know a, a big family of two dollar bills whoever wins the pot at the end walks away with uh, quite a bit of money so I picked up four of these one for myself to put in my my game stash one for my son and daughter-in-law for them to have at their house and then two for future shoe boxes I grabbed uh, one of the new coloring books Born to be Wild. Now, it doesn't have just sloths in the book because there just seems to be sloths on the cover. Uh, it has um, all different kinds of animals. Great images for kids to color. Every year I have a shoebox that has animals in it, so I thought I'd pick one of those up. I also grabbed a four pack of the blank books. I loved this cover. I may go back and get another one. I also might get uh, the, it was like the squiggly black and white checkerboard. I really liked that one too. So it's uh, each booklet is 16 pages of uh, blank paper and there's four in a pack. Now these came in new, I would say um, a, about a week to 10 days ago in my stores. The Meow Match, Meow Meow Match, Gabby's Dollhouse, I actually saw Denise from D. Rogers, I think she had this in one of her shoe boxes this last year, but my stores never got it in until recently. So you got, you know, sometimes you get things in at the same time as everybody else. Sometimes it's a month later, sometimes it's six months later. So this was new to me, and this was also new to me, the monster matching games. And I really like the matching games for shoe boxes. So I got monster matching and Gabby's Dollhouse. Then while we're on Gabby's Dollhouse, they got in a new shipment of the jumbo playing cards, the um, licensed character ones. And I don't think I've ever seen the Gabby's Dollhouse jumbo playing cards they may have had them in but i kind of don't think so but all the other ones that they got in are the same ones we've seen um, ninja turtles the uh, monster jam uh, the one that has mickey and winnie the pooh on the front I, I, I think maybe even disney princesses i forget the other ones that they had but um, they were all ones that i've seen before except this one so i grabbed this one these i picked up for my grandson. This is bath bomb dust and bath bomb crumbles. Although they feel exactly the same. They're just calling it different things. And one is Jurassic Park, one is Ninja Turtles. It says it bubbles, fizzles, and crackles. And that's the youngest grandson and he loves uh, bath bombs. So I got those for him. And I also got for him to go in his Christmas gift bags or stocking um, these bath bombs. It says Fruit Loops, but it's a scented bath bomb. It smells like Fruit Loops. And this one smells like Lucky Charms. And then these two do not smell like Cheetos or Doritos. The Cheetos smells like an, it's an orange scented bath bomb and the Doritos is wild blue raspberry bath bomb. I couldn't decide which ones to get so I got all four of them. I might put two of them in my older grandson's stocking but I'm not sure that he's into taking baths anymore. I think he's, he's, he's a shower guy these days but I'll find out from uh, my son to see if he would use those. Then I found some more fun band-aids. These come in a 20 pack, 
20 piece pack and they are Texpressions. So they're little text expressions. BTW, for instance, by the way. I don't know what the other ones say. It's taped closed or, or I would open it. So this one has 20 pieces in it. And for me, I picked up a new loose powder brush. I was in need of one. I've got one that I've had for like a million years. Let me turn on this light here, see if you can see it better. This one has a lucite handle that is like a glitter pink, like a mauve glitter. They had one that was a hot pink glitter and one with a black handle. They also had coordinating eyeshadow brushes that came two to a pack. But I just got this. Then I picked up some food. I grabbed a box of cereal for my grandsons. My youngest is the cereal guy. This is General Mills limited edition Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Spider-Berry is the flavor and then you can see the marshmallows have the Spider-Man mask on them. It's really cute. This is a regular size box of cereal 11.2 ounces and the best by date is April of 2024. So I got that for my youngest grand. And this is probably my third box of these particular crackers that I like. They look like Ritz cracker from the box. They don't taste like Ritz crackers. They have a little bit of sweetness to them, but they're really great with cheese and chicken salad. The brand is Kutera. I picked up some other little things for my grandson's Christmas stockings, some double bubble berry berry gumballs, and some Haribo rainbow worms, which they will both love. Then I replenished some canned soup that I like to keep in my pantry. I like the Campbell's Kitchen Classics hearty ham and bean soup and the beef and barley soup. The beef and barley, I usually take another handful of mixed vegetables and throw them in there and make it real hearty. And the 25% bigger Campbell's chicken noodle. I usually get the tomato soup, but I just kind of felt like chicken noodle for a change. I picked up a 500 piece box of toothpicks. Again, I was in Walmart and they were, I think they were like 250. They're great toothpicks, just as good as anywhere else. I am replacing a scrub brush that I got at the Dollar Tree so many years ago. I, can't, I, don't, I don't know how long I've had it. Many, many, many years and it has seen better days. So I picked up a new one. I grabbed a couple more rolls of gift wrap because you guys know that I do gift wrapped my own shoe boxes for my Operation Christmas Child shoe box gifts. I picked up Avengers. I saw this before but didn't pick it up because I didn't think I had Avengers boxes, but I've been going through my stash and lo and behold, I think I've got like three Avengers boxes that I'll be doing next year. And I just loved these color your own gift wrap. These would also be great for like a kid's craft table during the holidays. Um, if you've got the kids at one table or a craft table set up, which is what we usually do for, for the kids. And they can just color in the pictures. This one is Mickey Mouse. It has Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy. I think probably Donald Duck on it. The last few things I picked up were the what I went for gift bags. I picked up this one, Joy. This one, grown local farmhouse, cut and carry, open daily, Christmas trees, pine, spruce, fir, and cedar. A dollar twenty-five. You can't be. You cannot buy gift bags for $1.25 anywhere else, not even Dollar General 
or Walmart. This one I thought was really pretty. It says Noel in glitter. And this one was really cute too. North Pole, rooftop parking, free tickets, reindeer games, prizes, hot cocoa, and flying lessons. <laughs> so I picked that up. And some birthday cards and a couple of personalized Christmas greeting cards for my brother and sister. I picked this one up. Maybe hard to test, kind of tone on tone, but it's really pretty. It's white glitter and gold snowflakes. It says in gold for a dear sister and her husband. So I thought that was really pretty. They're by Expressions from Hallmark. And I got this pretty one for my brother. And I love this because it had a red cardinal on it. And I'm from St. Louis, so it was perfect. And I picked up two birthday cards, one for my brother, which is already in the mail, and this one for my brother-in-law. And that's it. But for, for and oh, and these uh, large cards are only a dollar. They're not even a dollar twenty-five. And then they have the smaller cards for fifty cents each. So you can't beat that because what would these be in the Hallmark store? Four, three dollars, four dollars? Five dollars? I don't even know because I haven't bought greeting cards at Hallmark for, for probably five or years or more. I just buy them at the Dollar Tree. So that is my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some things that you liked and I do hope you can find them in your stores. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.